Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and the Las Vegas Raiders have claimed Jerry Tillery off of waivers. We'll talk about that, and we'll get into all the crazy comments around Mark Davis, Josh McDaniels, and I'm going to tell you whether or not I think Derek Carr is going to be back next season. But hey, today's show is presented by Manscaped. If you guys are looking for an awesome stocking stuffer because the holidays are right around the corner get your hands on the lawnmower 4.0 head on over to manscaped.com use code raiders to save 20 percent off and get free shipping now i know i already put out a video earlier today but my job here on the raiders report is to keep you fan base sane and up to date so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please make sure you do so and turn on those notifications the raiders have claimed jerry tillery the defensive tackle who has spent his entire career with the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, Tillery was a first-round pick and has not really been a good fit with Los Angeles. Has he had some character issues? Yes, there's been players out there that have commented on character issues. You can see it out there. But also, at the end of the day, one of the biggest needs right now for the Raiders is defensive tackle. You just lost to the Indianapolis Colts 25-20. to You got Jim Ursay, the owner of the Colts, trolling the Raiders on social media. So what I want to know from every single person watching, what is your one-word reaction to this news? Finding out that the Raiders now have Jerry Tillery, what's your one-word reaction? My one-word reaction is the same reaction that I gave last week when the Raiders signed Sidney Jones. Too late. It's too late. The one player, the one position that you need, especially in a game going up against Indianapolis, when you planned on benching Matthew Butler and you planned on benching Neil Farrell Jr., you could have used that extra depth. And unfortunately, you were unable to do that. So this is some sort of a move that I think McDaniels and the crew is trying to convince Raider fans that, hey, we're not tanking. We're really going to try to go out there and win this season. I'm going to look at all y'all in the eyes right now. I do think that this Raiders team is tanking, and it's sad because when you got a guy like Derek Carr literally crying, that just shows how much emotion is in this. In terms of Jerry Tillery, he might be the best defensive tackle on the team. <laughs> like, he, he actually might be the best DT on the team, and he just got released. Tillery, they declined his fifth-year option, and you knew that he wasn't going to come back. He just wasn't a good fit ever with the Chargers. Eight tackles this season. He's got a sack. Last season, 51 tackles, four and a half sacks, six tackles for loss. 2020, 30 tackles, three sacks, three tackles for loss. 2019, I will say in 2021 and 2020, both of those seasons, 14 quarterback hits. If you can find me somebody on the defensive line that can get after the quarterback, that looks pretty damn good to me. Now, in terms of his PFF grades in 2022, 190 snaps, a 61.4 overall grade, a run defense grade of 59.8, and a pass rush grade of 66.8. It was also reported that the Raiders apparently actually tried trading for Tillery at the NFL trade deadline, but couldn't quite get a deal, and now you get this extra piece to your Raiders defense. In terms of how does it impact your Raiders defensive tackle group, I, like I said earlier, he might be your best DT on the team, which is not saying anything because... Bilal Nichols has been bad. Andrew Billings has been frustrating. Neil Farrell Jr. and Matthew Butler, they were healthy scratches. You got Kyle Petko. He played okay yesterday. Kendall Vickers got a few reps here and there. It's a bad defensive tackle group, but it does give you a little bit more depth, and it gives you somebody who has been able to show in years past that he can get after the quarterback. Coming up next here on the Raiders Report, I'm going to show you Mark Davis's comments, and I'm going to show you these comments, and you're not even going to believe that they're real. Seriously, I was reading them, and I couldn't believe that they were real. Mind-blowing comments from Mark Davis on Josh McDaniels. I should say fantastic comments around Josh McDaniels and Derek Carr. Now, before I show you all that reminder, today's show is presented by Manscaped. This is one of my favorite sponsors I've ever had, and I hope that's why they've been around for almost two years now. If you go to manscaped.com, you can save 20% off and get free shipping on all of their amazing products. And the fact that the holidays are right around the corner, it makes a great stocking stuffer. It makes a great little gift. And if you're 
You know, trying to stuff her stocking too. Seriously, Lawnmower 4.0 is a great tool to use to make sure that your manhood is looking great. On top of that, it's safe to use in the shower. I've literally shaven my face on shows before. I've tried to cut my hands. You can't do it. Why? It's that safeguard technology. Also, that light at the end helps you get into those hard to, re hard to reach places. So if you're trying to trim up your black hole, uh, oh, it's going to look great, man. Code Raiders at manscaped.com slash Raiders. That link is going to be available for you guys in the comments and in the description of today's video. So what I wanted to talk about here was Mark Davis's comments. But first, I do want to talk about Josh McDaniels today because Josh McDaniels at his presser, which, by the way, if you watched it on Twitter, if you watched it on YouTube, I'm going to say 97% of the comments were fire McDaniels, the dude's a clown. This is what I've gathered from Josh McDaniels listening to him today. Um, yeah, it is what it is, you know. That's all he talks about. When I think of McDaniels, because I sat there and I watched that entire freaking interview this morning of people asking him questions about the future of this team, how he feels like he's doing this and that, the answers that he was given remind me a lot of, has anybody ever been this, in this situation? And please be honest with me. I've been there, but I've also sat in classes before where McDaniel's at the podium talking about the Raiders. It reminds me of a high school student giving a presentation on a topic that he just has absolutely no idea what the heck he's talking about, and he's just trying to bullshit his way through it, use a few big words, and he's like, I am killing this right now. If I could give a grade for Josh McDaniel's talking, it's a big fat F. Imagine a player young team you're trying to build around listen to that guy teach you if you watch Josh McDaniels talk and he does these press conferences how can I don't learn anything from him I don't think anybody learns anything from him. you can't believe anything that comes out of this man's mouth so if I'm a player I'm sorry I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth and when he tries to explain the shit going on in his head it is so confusing because it's a lot of words and none of it makes sense I could really understand the reason why nobody can execute. It's because nobody even knows what the hell they're supposed to do. On top of that, the biggest clown show that I have seen all year is this. Mark Davis was asked about Josh McDaniels today. And he said this. As far as Josh goes, I have no issues. I'm getting to know him a lot better. When you sign someone to a contract, don't you expect him to fulfill the contract? I like Josh. I think he's doing a fantastic job. That's why I hired him. How can you look at your fan base in the face and say that he's doing a fantastic job? That's just downright insulting. Now, maybe you don't watch the games or maybe that's not what you're doing, but then you need to hire somebody who's doing it because if 2-7 and seven is fantastic, Mark, you said it when the season started. This is not a rebuilding year. So you're telling me that you thought that this was going to be a good year, not rebuild, and now you're 2-7, and seven, and you're losing the games that you've lost, and that's fantastic job? That's a fantastic job? I would love to know what you tell your barber, too. He's probably doing a fantastic job. Mark Davis on if McDaniels is the long-term answer. He's with a smug little grin said, why wouldn't I? Like, why would he not be sure that McDaniels is the guy for the long-term answer? I can give you a few reasons. Besides the trade for Devontae Adams, I think Rocky Sin has done a good job also. But realistically, all the free agent signings that McDaniels did this offseason have been shit. The only good player that they're using out of the draft has been Dylan Parham. I actually saw Raiders beat on Twitter, and I loved what they had to say. And that's why you're going to see this on the show. So Raiders beat, I 100% agree with you on this take. Fans fly thousands of miles to see the Raiders play, pay top-of-the-market money to get seats, spend generously on team license apparel, pour hours of their time into the team, and this is the message you get from the owner. I'm telling you what, I have been very angry at McDaniels this season. I don't know if you guys know that or not. I've been upset with a lot of crazy things, man. I really, really have been, but you know what? This has got to be the biggest middle finger I have ever seen an owner do to his fan base. And what I want you to do right now is put a middle finger in the comment section. I don't know if Davis just thinks because, hey, I want a WNBA title and I'm a great owner now and I know what the hell I'm doing. Maybe that's what he thinks. 
But if you can sit there and tell me that 2-7 and seven is a fantastic job and that clown show that you brought in as a head coach is doing a fantastic job, there's your problem. The problem is at the ownership. Now, not only are we going to talk about Jerry Tillery, Mark Davis, Josh McDaniels, also on top of that, Jeff Howe from The Athletic, who's probably the only actual beat reporter there, I'll call him. According to Jeff Howe, Josh McDaniels has been told He will be the Raiders head coach in 2023. Patrick Graham and Derek Carr have not been given the same assurance. And I don't anticipate Graham to get the same insurance, but I'm going to tell you all something right now. Derek Carr will not be a Raider in 2023. Let's get it through your head. Whether you like Carr, whether you don't like Carr, I'm going to look at all of you one more time. Derek Carr will not be a Raider in 2023. The Mark Davis comments alone is the biggest indication that he's going to go with McDaniels. If you know that Derek Carr can't work in a Josh McDaniels system, guess what? It's not going to happen. And now you talk about Mark Davis saying shit like Rome wasn't built in one day. He's talking about voting of confidence toward your head coach. The Raiders right now are probably going to have a top five pick the way that this season's going. And if you have an opportunity to get Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud, you're probably going to do it. If you don't want to go quarterback, my next guy is Will Anderson. But here's the thing. Derek Carr is not going to be on this team in 2023. And if you don't get one of those top two quarterbacks, I'm going to say this again. It would not shock me if the Raiders go out and try to get somebody like Jimmy Garoppolo or Tom Brady, who are both free agents. Why? Because they're Josh McDaniels guys. And as far as I'm concerned, Mark Davis is so worried about turning the Raiders into the old Patriot way that he's getting in front of himself and realizing that nobody outside, no coordinator underneath Belichick has ever done anything spectacular. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it can be burnt down in just a few weeks. And that's what you're seeing right now for the Raiders. So a quick recap here of today's show. The Raiders claimed Jerry Tillery off waivers. He is now on the active roster. Josh McDaniels, he's not going anywhere. Multiple people have confirmed it now that no matter what, McDaniels is going to be the head coach of the Raiders in 2023. That's laughable. Mark Davis has got to just be trolling. He's got to be trolling everyone out there for those type of comments. And Derek Carr will not be on the Raiders in 2023. I appreciate all y'all for making it this far in the video. I'm sorry that this season has been such a shit show, but if you made it this far, spam RO4L. That way I know which one of y'all are the real ones around here on the Raiders Report.